Hello, I'm Jorun and I'm a color analyst based in Norway. And this is a little video I made for you. If makeup just isn't your thing, either because you just couldn't be bothered or if you've sworn off makeup for other reasons, maybe you feel like makeup is just too complicated but you do want to look good. So let's make a journey from a totally off look to being more present. And I'm going to give you a toolbox of two tricks and then a bonus tip at the end. The first in your little toolbox of tricks is color. This is me with no makeup in a color that's not in my palette. This is my shirt in an army green and I'm holding on to it just in case I get a chance to go on a safari in Africa one day. And I'm using it for examples when I want to dress in colors for your benefit to see what I don't look good in. Um, I have greens in my palette, uh, but this particular one is not a bright winter color. Um, it's a lovely soft moss green and it would do wonders for someone in the autumn spectrum or one of the three autumn seasons. But for me as a bright winter, it makes me look pretty drab. So let's see what we can do about this. If I were in autumn, I would have looked great in that army green. Um, and wearing white like this would have been a step back. But for me, as a bright winter, it's a step forward. Milky white is in my palette. It's white with a little bit of sunshine in it. And um, as you see, if you find your right neutrals, it's really so much better than your wrong colors. However, what happens if we do add color? For me, yellow is in my palette. So what if I add a splash of color to this white top? This is my beloved yellow cardigan. It's another step in the right direction still without wearing any makeup at all. Still on the topic of color as one of your tricks in the toolbox, I found one of my tops in a color that I wear a lot. It's a bright fuchsia pink. As an example, if you are another season, you will have other colors, but you have so many to choose from. And it's all about knowing which colors are yours and using them. The second trick I have, um, no, not up my sleeve, but in the toolbox for you is eyeglasses. You're bound to end up with eyeglasses at some point. And when you're my age, it's pretty much a given. Um, so let's talk about how you can use eyeglasses to enhance your look, especially if you want to avoid the makeup. The most neutral eyeglasses that I own are these frameless ones, which I like because they're almost invisible. Um, and I, I kind of like wearing makeup. I'm not comfortable sitting here in front of you with no makeup on as, as a whole and wearing these eyeglasses I'm even more conscious that I should perhaps I would have liked to have some eye makeup on. I'll show you another pair of glasses that I have. This is kind of a next step up. It's really nice to see clearly isn't it? Um, these are my eyeglasses with sort of a neutral frame. Um, they're rose gold, which is really great for bright winters. Um, neutral 
colors for your eyeglass frames is a really safe bet and every season has some really nice neutrals to choose from uh, for a more subdued look that doesn't distract from your face. However, if you truly don't like wearing eye makeup, consider picking eyeglasses in one of your colors or one of your bolder colors. And I'll show you what I have as an example of that. These are mine. They're kind of a dark, clear navy blue. And... Um, You'll notice that if you're a soft autumn or a light spring, your bold colors might look muted on somebody else, but on you, they will look bold. And yeah, I, I kind of think of these as my statement glasses. Not particularly happy with how round they are, but that's the way they are. And it's an example to show you. I know you said you don't like wearing makeup, but once you have your colors figured out and some eyeglasses that complement you, why not take it one step further? You've come so far and uh, I'll just show you two little things or three little things that you can do to look even better in less than five minutes. I promise you can do this. Let's focus on three items. Skin, lips and brows. That's all you need. You need a transparent foundation and I'll show you. So quick and easy. I will put a list of the items I'm using. It's so transparent. All it does is even out your skin tone a little bit. And it, oh, it smells so good. Ta da! Yep, not too shabby. And next, lips. I'm doing this quickly because I'm going to show you how quick it is. Lipstick. I'm using a little bit of the lip stick on my cheeks as the blush. Ta-da! It's all you need. Let's have a look. Yeah. See how easy it is? The third thing is eyebrows. If you're lucky enough to have some hairs left in your eyebrows, all you have to do is enhance them with a little bit of eyebrow gel with color. This one's from Glossier. It's all worn out and I'm going to just do the outer brows. Very often we look like tadpoles or the eyebrows, eyebrows look like tadpoles because there's no color left on the outer edges and all the color is stuck in the inside. There we go. So if you choose, when you choose your eyebrow gel color, be sure to not choose too dark. Just a shade darker than your natural color will do just fine. So as you see, you can look radiant without makeup or very little makeup if you use the colors in your palette and by being very mindful of which eyeglasses you choose. I hope you found these tricks helpful and that the toolbox was useful. You can listen to a podcast episode about choosing eyeglass frames on the Chrysalis Color Analysis podcast. Just look up my website for links to all the podcast episodes and 
why not check out the free course on how to pick the perfect lipstick while you're at it and there's lots more ways to dress simply without looking boring. You'll find all this at nordicsimplicity.com.